Thank you, everyone. Um, it is an absolute honor to be here this evening. Uh, from the very first time I saw a football game being played over 30 years ago, I was hooked. From the teamwork to the competitiveness and the pure physical nature of the game, I could not wait till I could take my own crack at it. So at the ripe age of six, there I was <clears throat> in a set of pads that probably weighed almost as much as I did. From being an offensive lineman and having cupcakes and sodas after the game to becoming an All-American wide receiver. What a journey. And also, Dad, it's probably good I didn't eat all my dinner or I or probably would have stayed in offensive lineman. <laughs> If you, if you would have told anyone that knew me pre-college years that I was going to be inducted into an Athletic Hall of Fame, their response probably would have been, he's going to college? <laughs> <laughs> but they didn't know the drive and the desires that I possessed deep down inside. I've always had dreams of playing professional football, and it came pretty close. I really feel that if I did not set my goals so high, I would not have had the success that I had here at Millersville. I've always had to work really hard <clears throat> and be mentally tough to accomplish what I have done. Playing in an era where size was everything um, made it that much harder to prove to people what I could do. So when I got my opportunities, I made the most of them. Taking a year off from football and attending a community college after graduating high school allowed me to not only uh, mature physically but also mentally. So with the help of my parents, we put a highlight tape together and sent it to a couple local colleges. After some frustration, one college responded with interest and invited me to come to camp as a walk-on. And the rest is history. I always felt that in order to be successful, you have to believe that you are the best at what you do. No matter what happens, you have to keep on working hard. And I always felt that your first step towards failure was when you relaxed. So I practiced and worked out as hard or even harder as a senior than I did as a freshman when I came here. With all of that being said, I will always cherish these memories that wouldn't have been possible if not for these people I need to thank. I would love to thank all my teammates and coaches because in a team game, you are only as good as the people that surround you. Coach Gene Carpenter, <clears throat> thanks for believing in me, <clears throat> and congratulations to him as well on just being inducted into the College Football Hall of Fame. I wish he could be here tonight, but I knew he would be so proud of me. <clears throat> he truly was not just a great coach, but more importantly, a great man. Thanks, Coach. To my number one fans, <clears throat> mom and dad, without your support, none of this could have been possible. To look up into the stands at every game and see your faces really put me at ease. These are, were some of the greatest times of my life, and I'm so glad that I could share the, all of them with you. <clears throat> From the one-on-one -on -one football games in the backyard and our heated Madden video games, to being teammates here at Millersville. Thanks, Bob. I was so happy you decided, oh, by the way, Bob's my brother, sorry. <laughs> I was so happy you decided to come here to Millersville. You made this whole experience much, that much more meaningful. And I'm really proud of your own accomplishments and what you did here, Bob. Lastly, I would like to thank my wife, who I would have never met if not from Millersville University. Many coaches will tell you, stay away from having a girlfriend while you are playing football. <clears throat> that it could be a distraction. Well, for me, I met Angela after my junior football season and had my best year as a senior. So, so much for that theory. <laughs> I think she kept me out of a lot of trouble and probably prevented me from turning in a lot of handwritten papers. There was supposed to be a bigger laugh. <laughs> All kidding aside, thank you so much for your support in pursuing my dream after college. Most importantly, thank you for the greatest gift anyone could ever receive, our son Wyatt. He's absolutely awesome, and I now know what life is truly about. In, in closing, congratulations to all the inductees. 
This is truly a humbling experience, and it is an honor to be cho chosen as part of Millersville University Athletics history. Thank you so much, and enjoy your evening.